Dolly Mini, or Cran, is an AI program that will create an image based on whatever prompt you give it. These prompts can range from something as interesting as the look of abject horror, to Joe Biden Bionicle, to a man with watermelon shoved up his ass, to me, and most importantly for today's video, Hero Factory Villains. I wanted to do this for a while, and I decided I'd finally go for it. And I'm going to try designing this one right here in the center. Now, keep in mind, this isn't going to try to completely replicate the original. More or less, the original is more of a base for me to make a character from. And I actually want to start off with the legs. I decided I wanted to use this brain attack head as the kneecap because it's the right color. And initially I tried going with something like this, very simple, but I just really wasn't feeling it. I probably could have made this better if I fleshed it out more, but eh. But then I took a look at this modifa and decided this would probably be a good base for the leg. So I came up with this, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, holds the knee in place just fine, and I threw in a little black bushing to kind of fill that in. I attached an ankle, but this just looked too skinny. This thing has pretty chunky ankles, so that just wouldn't do. I tried attaching some armor to the foot, but that just really didn't help. So I guess I need to go with a custom design. I came up with this design, which I liked quite a bit, but unfortunately its design wouldn't let it lay flat, which would create stability issues. I made a modification, which allows me to angle this toe at pretty much whatever I want. Uh, so now let's go ahead and attach it to the leg. I added a couple ball joints to the side of the leg, and now I'm just going to attach the foot. And that's the design I have for the lower leg. I think it looks pretty good, although it could use a little more bulk, so I decided to add this piece of dark green armor. I tried black, but I felt that just looked a little too bland. And while it's more accurate, remember, this is a base, not a replica. The upper legs are much more simple. I'm just using basic CCBS bones, and I initially wanted to use size 4 armor, but it just looked a little under-armored, so I went with size 6. And I threw in something just to kind of fill out the back. So I created another one, and now it's time to move on to the body. The body is a little more challenging, and I really had to take more creative liberties with it. The lower half of the body has a fairly similar texture to this Darth Vader CCBS piece, so I decided I'd go with that, and I'd attach it to an XT4 torso, and I feel like that looks pretty good for a waist, and this is pretty easy to build on top of as well, because it's got those two ball joints. I attached Vaki hips to these connectors, and I feel like this looks pretty good for a design. Uh, the gray is a little unfortunate, but I have a feeling it'll get buried anyway and this gives a good position for me to put shoulders on the figure. I'm just going to use some basic CCBS bones because I'll get the job done just fine. Then I'm going to try attaching some black armor, but I'm not entirely a big fan of how that looks, so I'm going to swap it out with green armor. And yeah, I definitely like the way that looks more. It adds a little more uh, variety and color to the figure. Although it does have something on its right shoulder, so I'll flip this around for now and get back to it later. I want to armor this thing up, so I went and grabbed one of those 2010 villain pieces and a Glatorian neck and then just put it on the front and I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to use some uh, of these green pin pieces as well as another of those villain pieces to cover up the back and uh, hold this thing in place, keep it stable. So it's not wiggling around, and I think that looks pretty good. I think it looks very well armored, and it also buries that gray that I was worried about earlier. The back of that XT4 torso is a little open, so I should uh, cover that up with uh, one of these 3.0 uh, armor pieces. And that's pretty much it for the main body. I didn't even bother trying to replicate the lower arms because they just look like jumbled nonsense. So I went and took this design that I made for my Liwa Master revamp and just kind of repurposed it here with some CCBS bones. Then 
the right arm has something that's kind of claw-like, so I just kind of gave him a fairly basic yet effective claw that I think looks pretty good. The left arm uses this massive blade, so I decided to take a Tahu sword and put one of the uh, electric energy pieces in it so it looks kind of charged up and put it on there. I wanted to add a little extra detail and I had one of these lying around so I decided I'd go ahead and put it on there. And now I want to attach some armor to the forearm, so I'd use a size 4 for the right arm, and a size 4 for the left arm won't work, so I had to use a size 3. I'm pretty happy with the way the left arm turned out, I think this weapon looks awesome. Uh, but something that the left arm has is this little pauldron on top, and it just so happens that an Umarak the Hunter mask can uh, replicate that pretty well. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good, and I think that's a pretty nice part usage uh, of that Umarak mask. When I decided to make this, I immediately thought that this piece right here could be made out of this little piece from Green Lantern, which makes a pretty good looking shoulder cannon. Uh, I went and put a pin in the nozzle so it kind of looks more cannon-esque, and then just put some pieces on top to kind of help hold that in place. And then I decided to go ahead and put a tube in there, uh, just for a little extra detail. Um, but when I look at this compared to the original model, I think I should swap out the dark green and black armor on the right arm, just for the sake of a little extra accuracy, and I think it turned out pretty nice looking. Now let's wrap this up with the head. Someone on one of the Discord servers I frequent said that this thing looks like an Akaku, and while I really can't disagree, especially with the Akaku Nuva, when I was looking through Bionicle Masks, this thing really caught my attention. Unfortunately, using it by itself really doesn't look that impressive, so I need to add a little extra detail. So I decided to add some spikes for eyes and a venom-like tongue. I feel like this gives him a very menacing alien-like look that definitely gives him a lot of character that he wouldn't have had otherwise if I just uh, left those features blank. So here is the finished product, and here is a picture of the original image. I have decided to call this thing Neo as a reference to the Matrix because the original image was created by an AI, so I feel like it just kind of works very well poetically. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. Uh, I like a lot of the part uses here, and I think it definitely has a nice menacing and kind of unique uh, look and stature to him. Uh, he did turn out pretty tall as well. He uh, definitely towers over uh, standard heroes, and I feel like he just fits in very well with the Hero Factory universe. Uh, but I guess that's pretty much it for this video, so if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, a comment down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe, because I've got some more uh, mock showcases and stuff planned for the future. Uh, but until then, my name is Taj, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.